What's up guys? Thanks for watching another video and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. This is the final dyno pull before our M3 and Super Challenge. We're shooting for 400 horsepower at the crank. We're back at prime motoring. So let's see how much horsepower we make. Fingers crossed for 400, maybe more. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching, and if you like what you see, please hit the big red subscribe button that really helps us out. Hit the bell icon next to it to get notified anytime we make a new video. Give this video a thumbs up, and just follow us on social media because that's where we post a lot of other things you won't see on YouTube. Like I said, this is Prime Motoring. We're putting this thing on the dyno today. We have done a ton to this car, which includes a K24, K26 hybrid turbo, an FMIC, which stands for Front Mounted Intercooler. That's a train. We also have done 750cc injectors, shimmed the block. We've done uh, a tune from Stevo. Uh, rolling Motors did all of this work. Uh, Stevo works with Rolling Motors and it's just a ton of stuff since we've had this on last time. The last time we were here, we made 292 horsepower at the wheels and 330 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. So comment below what you think is going to be the number. Let's get this thing on the dyno and let's hit it. I should mention before we get started, uh, it's a pretty crappy day outside. And if you don't know anything about dinos and you're kind of watching your first dino video, or even if you know everything about dinos, you may not know this fact that the atmospheric conditions have a huge impact on how cars perform on a dyno. Uh, heavier air, um, atmospheric conditions with um, more humidity, uh, it tends to bog down engines and it tends to make things run a lot less smooth, a lot, it's just not at peak performance essentially. And that's what we have today. It's raining, it's really humid. Um, the temperature is okay. It's like maybe 70 degrees out, 72 degrees out. So that's not too bad, but if we had low humidity and a perfect day, we would be getting optimal numbers. So we're actually going to be looking at probably a 10 to 20 horsepower decrease today. So keep that in mind when we see the final numbers. Um, and of course, depending on the dyno, you may get different numbers as well. We have been on this dyno the entire time. So like I said, 292 uh, horsepower at the wheels on this dyno, 330 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels on this dyno last time. That was with a stage two Hilton tune and the turbo back exhaust from 88 Fab. Now this thing has been, has had a ton done to it ever since and I just mentioned all of it. So uh, it also has a snap intake. I think I forgot to mention that before, but we're going to see exactly what this thing makes. Now we're looking at 15 to 20% drivetrain loss because it's an all wheel drive car. So we are thinking 320 to 340 horsepower should give us 400 crank horsepower and that's what we're going for. So 320 is the number. All right, I'm gonna bother Dimitri while he's setting up because uh, he's been on camera for basically every one of these. And not basically, but actually every one of these. And uh, we had 292, 330 at the wheels last time. I believe it was our best run or best combo. Um, with all the work that I just told you off camera, what do you think uh, we're gonna make? A couple of the guys had said, you know, 320, 340 at the wheels. Do you think it'll be higher with the uh, atmosphere? Last time, like, I, last time I think I was pretty you were, high. You were way high last time. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but I mean, it was, uh, it's different with these things. And I have a, I have a confession to make. Uh, we didn't have working all wheel drive any time we came to the dyno beforehand. So now we actually do. It might even be lower now. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I have faith. You have faith? All right. I have faith once again. All right. 343. 343, okay. 343. All right. What was the torque last time? Uh, torque was 330 last time. Torque was 330. Horsepower was 290 last time? 292. Okay. So 343 horsepower. So 343. Okay. And I'm going to say similar torque. Okay, similar torque. So like 330? 340. All right. Uh, similar torque to horsepower. Similar to, oh, similar to, okay, so you're thinking. 340, 340. All right. 343, 343, that's my number. All right, 343 is the number to beat. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit more conservative because I think I with, the, with the atmosphere, the lighting's terrible because we're looking outside, but I'm saying 320, 360. That's, that's my split. 
and I hope I'm super wrong and it's making oh, like right. 400 at the crank. I, I must redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was way off last time. That's all good, man. All right, let's do it. I'm not gonna show you guys the results yet. We still got two more pulls, but that was great. Let's get the rest of these done, cause holy sh the dyno 333 349 it's a little hot outside and uh, like I said with the um, really kind of crummy weather we got and there's a lot of heat soak going on in the engine um, that is that was our third run with a lot of heat uh, going in therefore basically what we're looking at is run one was our best one and that was 343 and 361 at the wheels so we are making way more than 400 horsepower at the crank I cannot <laughs> I cannot begin to tell you uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of math off camera because my head does not work in that way and uh, I'll tell you what we're making at the crank our target was 400 to the crank and we destroyed that so redeemed I'm gonna shove this camera in your face and annoy you again but redeemed from last time literally right. spot on 343 and I had said 360 at the for torque so I think I mean between horsepower is 360 though wait horsepower is 360 361 yeah oh I thought torque, torque was 343 would... no oh I redeemed myself on torque horsepower so I was wrong 361 at the wheels is ridiculous yes. so um, you think it would have made more with better better conditions? Uh, probably a little bit. But what do you think? Yeah. Like maybe 10 horsepower more? Five? Probably make closer to 370, like 370. 69. Okay. Yeah. I said between 10 and 20 loss because it's of... a little cooler in here than it is out there. True. So it sucks out there, but okay. it's not that bad in here. So. Interesting. So wait, so 361 horsepower, 343 torque. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That in two pulls in a row. So we're so consistent. So oh, okay, that's great. Heat, so. Yeah, the last pull, yeah, is a little, a little warm, but um, so that so we're looking at basically, uh, what four? How much at, at the crank? Four forty. Eighteen percent drivetrain loss. What is that? So yeah. 424 30. 420, 430 at yeah. the uh, at the crank. Yeah. <laughs> it's good power. Nice. Put this thing on ethanol and it will destroy. It'll probably make pick up like 40 50 wheel wow at least yeah all right so i've pulled around the corner and <laughs> holy crap guys 361 horsepower and 343 foot pounds of torque at the wheels i did the math that's 441 horsepower at the crank um i i got nothing to say but uh you know <laughs> Ben and the guys at Rolling Motors sure know what the hell they're doing because that's a tremendous increase from the last time. Now, 292 to 361 might not sound like a lot, but, you know, with working all-wheel drive and with all of this stuff that we did, it is insanely noticeable how much faster, how much more responsive, and how much better this car performs on the street, clearly on the dyno as well, and I can't wait to get it on the track and a drag strip and a zero to 60 and all this stuff because uh, we do have another E46 that is interested, and believe it or not, it's our old E46. So the guy that bought it from Chad reached out to us and said, hey, if you wanna do it, we can do it. So not only are we taking on Guff and his 1993 i think it is a toyota supra that he's putting a turbo on i think a single turbo but we're gonna do the e46 thing it's going to happen it is back on and i am really excited because i think we're gonna absolutely smash it all right so i'm actually back in the garage here at work and uh man <laughs> i wanted to say one more thing before i signed off 
Um, I'm really excited. I hope you guys can kind of tell that from this video. But uh, this is the most powerful and fastest car I've ever owned. This thing is more powerful than the Aston. So let's just put that into perspective for a second. This thing makes 440 at the crank. The Aston only made 380 at the crank. Um, that is a 60 horsepower difference and it is significant. Like I can tell you this thing, it pulls way harder. It feels way faster than the Aston. The Aston was very linear because it was, uh, it's an NA motor. There's no turbo, there's no forced induction, there's no supercharger or anything. Um, this because it's turbo, because you know, it's got the better injectors and everything. Uh, it just pulls. It, it, I'm kind of speechless. I'm, I'm so stoked. This is like, I'm, I'm never selling this car. I mentioned in the last video, like leave a comment below if you think I should sell this thing. Hell no. There's no way I'm selling this thing. Unless someone offers me $40,000 for it, this is going to be in my garage until it absolutely dies. So the next thing to do with this car, like I said, we're going to get the sways on it. We're going to do a little bit of the aesthetics and we're going to raise it, maybe put some new wheels on it. Um, still trying to figure out what's going on with the Aventis. Not really sure. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to bring you what's next with this car because we're going to go crush not only the E46, and the Supra, but also the rest of the Shipping Lanes crew because they can't hang anymore. So, sorry guys. Well, sorry, not sorry. If you want to follow us on social media, it is at Shifting Lanes anywhere. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're mostly on Instagram and Facebook, so go follow us there. We are also writing on Drive Tribe again on our tribe. So go search Shifting Lanes on Drive Tribe and we write the day's news and some cool stuff. So go follow us there. Go check it out and go read our stuff because you know we're we like writing too. This isn't just the YouTube channel. We're we're an automotive journal too. We like to we like to write, we like to do reviews. So go follow us there and check it out. And if you want to support the channel, T-shirts are still available, V70R, C30, and S60R, and our new Hellwinkle shirts. If you want to do any of that, you can support us. Also, Patreon is below if you want to do that. Just watch the videos, guys. That's the best way to do it. And, uh, and also, you know, buy a cool T-shirt because, you know, I actually like them. That'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. See ya!